Y'all, get your baby brother and baby sister out of the room because we are about to revisit the most shocking magazine covers and spreads of 2015. Caitlyn Jenner's coming out party on the cover of Vanity Fair. Now this was controversial because you have a former USA Olympian turned woman in front of all of our eyes and it was huge. After the transition, this is kind of the first time we saw her as a woman and I think Caitlyn Jenner, you do you. That is some confident stuff. It's a stunning image. Caitlyn's more fabulous than I am and it makes me sad. At first I didn't recognize who it was mm -hmm. and then when I realized it was Caitlyn Jenner, I thought, whoa, you're in a bikini. It was a big deal for the world. I mean, for people that don't believe in it, for people that do believe in it, it was huge for um, LGBT rights. I was happy she came out with this cover. She worked it. She was like, call me Caitlyn. Bitches, call me Bruce, I will punch you in the face. The photograph, I feel like it's, it's conservative, but also enough to shock people. With a metallic background, I think it really just- Classy. Mm -hmm, forever. I think this is classic. It's a classic corset, it's gorgeous. The only thing is like she still looks a little ashamed she has no arms. Like her arms are behind her, so. I don't know. I mean, this cover, hands down, I would dare to say is probably the most controversial ever. This magazine cover will go down in history. Along with its Olympic gold medals, Zendaya was on the cover of Modelista and it was a beautiful photo, but then you opened it up and inside the spread there was this photo that caused a lot of controversy because it was photoshopped. It's not a secret that people photoshop girls on magazines, but at least photoshop to make them look better. I cannot believe if you look to the left, look how they slimmed her down. It's like she's nothing. I don't even know why people think that's more attractive. Let her be herself because she's already a stunning girl. Yeah, they did make her look like a 10 year old boy. And then not to mention the photograph shot has her legs in two different races. Leg on the left is Caucasian, leg on the right is orange. What the hell is that? Since when does Zendaya need to be photoshopped? She's not like, someone you need to photoshop yeah, at all. No. Well, especially like a teenager, don't photoshop a teenager. They actually just made her look pale, which who the hell wants to be pale? Oh honey, the pale one is the real one. This is the real one. Oh. <laughs> She saw that they had photoshopped her and she was pissed about it. She's just really honest and she's like, she'll call people out on her Exactly. So she took to Instagram being like, this is original me, this is photoshopped me. And I kind of love that about her. Her hair always looks great. <laughs> they didn't have to photoshop her hair. Oh. Actually they did, <laughs> they did photoshop a chunk out of oh. her hair. They overdid it. Like who has a waist that small and her legs yeah. are so skinny. They like, should not have made her She's smaller. right, she looks amazing. Yeah, I think I would have been mad too. I mean like, why did you take my curves out? Why did you take my thighs out? She clearly looks way better in the raw file. <laughs> It makes me think of the minions, but they're just like, bottom. <laughs> bottom. <laughs> so Demi continuing her year of being confident post nude for Vanity Fair, and I have to give major props to her, because I she looks great I, in all of them. I'd be too scared. Yeah, I would not pose naked. Demi killed this shoot. Yo, I want to do a photo shoot, no makeup. No retouching, no nothing, just who I am. And nothing really says confident more than that. Her butt looks amazing. Oh, that, that is a spread that she did. <laughs> That's one time crack isn't whack. I mean, Demi is gorgeous in this. Her curves, her she, look, She actually her looks hair. amazing. She looks amazing. And she did this because, you know, her album Confident came out and she was doing this whole like body image. Um, embrace whoever you are. I don't think there was any negative backlash at all for no, any of No, it was these. more everybody was banded together and they were yeah. like, you go girl. When it's like <laughs> She's been doing a lot of soul cycle. I'm know? proud of her, she's come a long way, you know, from hitting people and yelling at people and now she's gorgeous. This is Demi in the shower. You know what, when I take a shower with my t-shirt on, that's how I look too. She looks so good <laughs> with no makeup on. There's nothing I hate more than being in wet clothes, but I get that it's fun for the photo shoot. You're killing two birds with one stone. You're doing laundry as well. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh God, oh God, oh God. It's so Miley to me. I kind of love it. She shed all of her clothes because it's Miley. Her body just looks so gorgeous there, like the female figure in all of its glory. I don't know, what is coming out of her lady goods? Her rainbow pubes are so cool. Oh, that's beaded JJ. Yeah. I thought she was peeing candy. Cause I'm like, that's the coolest vagina ever. You just ruined everything for me. I cannot eat candy now. And then she's showing off her tattoos and she put some like pink pasties on her boobs. I don't know what it's trying to symbolize. Like if she's hanging from something, like Jesus from the I cross. I think she's reaching up to God. Take my virginity. Taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Go Becky. There's so many meanings <laughs> for this photo. This is like what shows up on your bed in scary movies. 
Her eyes are rolling in the back of her head. She has this Indian makeup painted on her, the third eye. What's with the vomit? What's leaking from her chin? Stop poking your things at me. I don't need to see that right now. Miley's body is insane because the girl stays in the gym working on her fitness with Pilates like every day. Her diet is like gym, weed, and vegan stuff. That's just gross. That's disgusting. This is a photo from her candy magazine shoot when she's licking her armpit fluff. I just wanna yank that off of her. No, shave it and put your tongue back in your mouth. That's what we need to do. Like I said, I was totally pro Miley with the hair and the armpits, but why are you licking your armpit hair? That doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like she like did like puberty backwards. I don't know how I feel about the whole not shaving your armpits thing. Well, I mean- It's 2015. I don't shave my armpit. You're a guy. I know, I know. I don't know why you wanna grow a garden under there, but she wanted to lick it. Armpits, they don't, smell good sometimes when you don't put your on, so I'm pretty sure they don't taste good. It's kind of gross. You don't know what you're gonna find in there. It's a bush. You just can't go sticking your tongue in stuff that you don't know what's in there. I think maybe she's just like setting it up so she has a new sponsor, like, I don't know, X or something. Oh, she's trying to get a deodorant she's sponsor. She's so smart. Miley oh, is so yeah. smart. It's all about business. Hey, you know what? Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. Ooh. Oh, if I was Obama, I'd be like, excuse me? One of the most offensive magazine covers of all time. Cosmopolitan thought it was a great idea to put the Kardashians on the cover, which is awesome. But then the caption reads, America's first family. Are y'all crazy? I can see why people disagreed with that because they're like, that's not actually America's first family. But Cosmo was trying to say like, they're the queens of reality TV and kind of of everyone's attention right now. It's not wrong. It's wrong. They we're talking, this is, I think they were talking in metaphor. Half because people don't like the Kardashians and half because they thought it was disrespectful to our actual first family, the Obamas. What are you trying to say? A family that launched their career on a porn? What does that say about the US? Uh-uh, mm-mm. That is an insult, and it makes us look crazy to all the other countries around the world. You know, but I did hear they did like crazy, like, Photoshop on every single one of them. What, Kardashian Photoshop? No. I know. But a side note, they look beautiful. They all have um, their hair nice and done. They're wearing white shirts. They looked great, but this was very controversial because you're not gonna call the Kardashians America's first family. That's ridiculous. Like, stop. I hope Michelle and Barack didn't see this cover. They are our first family. Oh, and then I would like to no uh, note as well, under that it says 16 pages like you've never seen them before. We see them every day, okay? I'm pretty sure we know what they look like. On Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim K showed us behind the scenes of this crazy photo shoot in the desert. And you know, Kim allegedly is all about embracing your curves, except that you can clearly see in a screenshot of the behind the scenes that her body does not match the actual finished picture. Kim is talking about how she wants to embrace her body before you know she had her son. When she said she wanted to embrace it, she photoshops the photo. It's ridiculous. When have the Kardashians ever embraced their natural body? I'm so over her. We see time and time again these celebrities photoshopping their photos saying, you know, this is how I look. Oh, I've been working out or I want to embrace my body. And then you photoshop it. You're a liar, Kim. You're a liar. Actually, it looks like her head's not even attached to her body, if we're being real here. It, she looks like a bobblehead. It looks like they took someone else's body. It was like, let's put Kim on it. Yeah. Kim looked great in the before photo. She looks normal. Beautiful, but normal. Her body is amazing. Her butt looks good. Her stomach's tiny. The after picture just screws with my mind. If your message is gonna be embrace your curves, then be consistent and embrace your curves, girl. All right, guys, so now I want to know from you, which one did you guys think is most controversial? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, don't you forget to subscribe for the best celebrity news ever. Click to the left to see if you agree with us on the most jaw-dropping OMG WTF moments of 2015, or click to the right as we dish on the fashion fierceness and faux pas of the year.